welcome biologists to this session where we're going to be taking a look at the structure, function and properties of globular and fibrous proteins. So let's have a look first of all at fibrous proteins. So fibrous proteins, these are the strong proteins and they are involved in structural roles. And this is because they form long chains that are very, very, very strong. So as you can see in this image here, this is an image of hair. And an example of a fibrous protein we need to know about here is keratin. And keratin it forms things like our hair and our nails. And um, the more disulfide bridges we have within the keratin, the stronger it is. So for example, your nails, your, your fingernails will have more, the keratin in there would have more disulfide bridges than say, for example, keratin in your hair. So fibrous proteins here, their main role is structural roles. And uh, so fibrous proteins, really important that we know a little bit about their properties. They're insoluble in water. So this means they can't dissolve in water, which is good because we don't want our hair to wash away in the shower, for example. And the reason why the fibrous proteins are insoluble is because they have um, lots of amino acids with hydrophobic R groups. And these hydrophobic R, group, R groups are present along the whole structure. So as hydrophobic R groups kind of, um, kind of repel water, please don't write that in your exam though, but that is kind of what they do. Um, they, it means it gives that property of being insoluble. Fibrous proteins are also very strong and very tough, and this is because they have many cross bridges between polypeptide chains. So as you can see here, the blue lines represent the polypeptide chains, and the black lines here represent the cross bridges between those polypeptide chains. Now, like I mentioned, they normally are disulfide bridges because that provides a, a lot of strength. It's a very strong bond between these polypeptide chains. Now, there are three main fibrous proteins we need to know about. They are keratin, elastin, and collagen. Now, anything here in a red box is taken directly from the mark scheme, so we do need to be aware of those properties in particular. Globular proteins. As the name sounds, we've probably met this term before anyway at GCSE in describing an enzyme. So a globular 3D protein, which is usually soluble. And these proteins uh, provide a metabolic role, such as enzymes or hormones. And because they are 3D, globular shape, they are quite compact in comparison to the fibrous proteins. Now, as I mentioned, these are soluble in water, and this is because they have amino acids with hydroph hydrophobic R groups, but these ones orientate away from water and are towards the inside of the protein. So because my hydrophobic R groups are towards the inner mass of my protein, it means the hydrophilic R groups are on the outside and orientate towards water, and it makes this protein soluble in water we also have conjugated proteins here and a conjugated protein is basically a globular protein but with a prosthetic group and a prosthetic group is anything that's part of the protein but isn't actually a protein so it isn't actually made of amino acids for example iron or fe2 plus in hemoglobin for example and there are three again three main Globular proteins here we need to be aware of, insulin, hemoglobin, and catalase. So two of those conjugated proteins because they contain a prosthetic group. And anything in a red box, again, is taken directly from the MART scheme. Now, <clears throat> the main way in which globular and fibrous proteins are asked about in the exam is a multiple choice question such as this one. Um, so I have seen this loads of times in the exams, so please be prepared to be able to identify the correct one here. Now, the best way to answer, answer a multiple choice question is by process of elimination. So if you do do process of elimination, it's a good idea to pause it and have a go. We should come up with the answer of being B. So guys, good luck with your exam. We have covered the structure, function and properties of globular and fibrous proteins. Please remember to include as much scientific information as possible in your exams. Subscribe if you like the videos. So you'll get more links and more pop-ups for when we get more um, videos going. Guys, good luck with your exams. All the best.